Welcome back to Legendary 007. We're playing against Gold, Finger, and boy, has he been hammering us big time. All right, we're going to start off today with Sean. Of course, Sean's hand is absolute garbage. Uh, but we do have to pull a villain deck card first, which is always a delight. Let's see what we have. We have some more Fort Knox. Henchman. All right, at least Odd Job didn't move. All right, well. This is going to be the quickest turn ever because Sean has one recruit and one attack. So he's just going to heal his wound and that's going to be the end of his turn. Because that's really all he can do. Alright, then we're going to draw six cards for his next turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Does he have anything good? Alrighty, he's got front machine guns. That's cool. So he's got two, three, four attack. Or he can use this against plus two against henchman would give him four attack against henchman two left three recruit, not great, not great at all. That's the end of uh, Sean's turn. All right, over we go to George. All right, George's turn. Oh man, this villain deck I don't know is absolutely nasty, and of course a scheme twist. <laughs> ah, the leftmost Q branch gets a plus one to its recruit. Of course, why wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab a die here. And we're gonna make it, of course, plus one. So now this card is an eight to recruit. So now we have a six and eight, a seven, a six, and a seven. All good. At least, a job didn't move. <laughs> so no, no wounds there. What do we have for George? Oh man. Well, he's got two, three, four recruit obviously doing nothing for recruiting and two attack to attack he can't even take out anybody we could just heal his wound or he could go ahead and get a money penny <sighs> oh what a waste i think we're just going to heal his wound he can't really do anything we're just licking our wounds this episode <laughs> wow it's terrible all right six new cards one two three four five and six. Oh man let's hope sean can do something um, what is he going to, oh, he's going to have two, three, four, he'll have five attack and three recruit for his next turn. <laughs> if we, if, of course, Goldfinger doesn't hammer on us. Wow, super quick episode today, but we're just not being able to do anything. Boy, did Goldfinger ever mess us over in the last episode. All right, up next, once again, Sean. Oh boy, super quick episode today. All right, a card for Sean. Oh, if I can grab it. All right, and it is, of course, let's have another scheme twist. Why don't we? Oh my God. Ah, the pain, the pain. All right, grab another die there. Okay, oh my goodness. Whoops, just we'll flip that on the floor. All right. Well, our Q branch is really getting expensive to recruit anything. We have a six, eight, eight, six, and seven. Wow. Okay, Sean, let's see if you can take somebody out. All right, this is plus two attack. So he's got two, three, he's got four attack and three recruit. Well, with three recruit, he's going to go ahead and get my, uh, money penny starter because we're going to need more. We, we need recruit if we ever want to get any of the better cards. This is getting horrible. Um, and again, at least our job didn't move. So we have a decision to make. We can take out one of the, um, can take out one of these guys, or we can take her out. Uh, he does have two, three, four attack. He could take out Melee, or he can take out a Fort Knox henchman. Um, I think, but that, and that would give him one extra recruit, which will do him no good. So he's going to go ahead and take her out for three attack. Boom. And that's going to be the end of his turn. He does get the gadget, uh, which is going to give him an extra point. So, Sean at least knocks this out. And that's really the end of his turn. He can't do anything else. Already recruited a money penny. And for his next hand, he's a special starter. He's going to have five extra cards. And that's going to be for our episode tomorrow. Oh, boy. This is just... This this game is nasty as can be. I'm just waiting for the... Of course, the next Master Strike to come out means we have to discard four cards four highest cards in your hand, and the final Master Strike is basically discard five cards. <laughs> oh boy. All right, one, two, three, four, and five more cards for Sean's hand. 
tomorrow. What does he have? He's got a basic starter, three basic recruit starters. He's got, oh, okay, he's got the machine guns, um, the front wing machine guns again. So two, three attack, a plus draw card again, if Goldfinger doesn't mess us over. All right, ending off our episode today, very quick episode. It's going to be George. Let's get to it. All right, George, what do we got on top of the villain deck? We have... Uh, <laughs> just just shoot us now. Uh, we got Goldfinger Pursuing Cards. It's a chase card. Five attack. All right, so chase cards immediately chase. So, boom, it's going to shove everything down, which means odd job is going to move. Oh, we have to try and get rid of that. This is absolute garbage. All right, so we're going to get a wound for George. Uh, uh, uh. And what does he have in his hand? Uh, he has, well, he has two, four, five attack. Oh, he can't get, well, he can get rid of the, he can get rid of that card, which he has to do. He has to do it. Uh, we don't have any synergies at all. But at least George mustered two, four, five attack and three recruit. With three recruit, he's going to go ahead and get a money penny. Because again, we need we need recruit. And he, at least he has five attack. And with five attack, he's going to get rid of this car. He's going to blow it up. <laughs> Pursuing cars, cool finger. Uh, it's worth a lot of points. Five attack. That gives us a tiny bit of breathing room. So at least odd job is not going to move. Are we going to win this game? I, I, I don't even know. I don't think. Our, our villain deck is getting very small already. All right, so he's got one card. I'm going to have to shuffle uh, his discard, of course, and then he's going to draw five more for his next hand for the next episode. Oh, boy. Uh, we are getting in real trouble because we can't recruit anything except basically money penny cards. Uh, because we don't have enough recruit points to get anything in Q Branch, which is the cheapest thing in Q Branch is six recruit. And we have a whole lot of attack out there now with henchmen. Wow, just brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. All right, with five more cards. Two, three, four, five for George. Come on, let's have a good hand. So he has Pussy Galore. Why did I put the chase card? This should have gone into his... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just draw into the car. That should have gone into his uh, points pile, not into his hand. All right, so he's got his vehicle shredder. One, two, three, four. He's got two, four, six. He has seven recruit right now. <laughs> you watch. You just watch. Next episode, the first card off the villain deck, probably be a master strike, and then we'll lose four cards each. All right, and just to recap, what did Sean have? Sean had three recruit. He's got two, three, oh, he's got four recruit, two, three, oh, two, oh, but he gets to draw a card. If he can draw an attack card, he could take out Odd Job because this would be, a get, oh no, Odd Job's not a henchman. Oh boy, we can at least, Sean can at least get rid of a henchman. Again, it depends on what this card is. I have no idea. Thanks so much for watching along. Make sure comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Legendary 007, a James Bond deck building game. We're playing against Goldfinger, and oh man, is he ever getting nasty? Uh, he's at a seven to hit him. Uh, and remember, whenever these cards come up in Q Branch, which they're not because we can't recruit anything, he gets plus one as well. So thanks very much for watching along, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the continuation Legendary 007 against Goldfinger and his Operation Grand Slam.